What is going on, everybody? Welcome to 2v Tuesdays with Geraldus and Foreign. Uh, this is a continuation from part one. We we're talking about critics, so be sure to go check out part one on Geraldus' channel. Right. And uh, we will get right back into this. Um, now, can you please reiterate the last thing that you had said? <laughs> <laughs> Way to fucking put me on the spot. What did I say? <laughs> I don't even remember. Uh, basically, we, were, uh, we would discuss something uh, along the lines of having tough skin, and even even some of the, the toughest of skin can still be hurt by the, the yes. things that you guys say. By piles and piles of hate. Yes. Piles so and piles of hate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't, there's no reason to hate. There's no reason to hate on somebody because um, you've never walked a mile in their shoes. You've never had to go through anything that they've gone through. They've probably never wronged you personally in any way. And if it ever comes down to it where you can come on and say, Woody's Gamertag called me up and said he's going to come and beat the shit out of my whole family, then yeah, feel free to hate on him. But you know what? I don't think he's ever done that. I don't think he ever would. I mean, these people, they're people. That's that's the thing. They're, these people that you guys criticize on YouTube... Uh, you may or may not criticize. You may actually look up to them a great amount and actually praise them, which which is a great thing. You know, it's not a bad thing. It's it's a, it's a good thing. Um, but these these people are just like you and me. You know, everybody has has that soft spot. Everybody can be a hard ass. Everyone can be a dick. You know, everyone can make jokes, and they're they're just people. I mean, there's there's no sense to criticize somebody. Would you like to be criticized if you were in their shoes? You know, sometimes you have to you have to look at it that way. How you know it's, it goes back to the the well known saying: treat others the way you want to be treated. Would you like to be criticized for the things that you do when you might actually be very proud of them? Mm-hmm. And, and another thing too that uh, really grinds my gears. Um, you know what grinds my gears? <laughs> the uh, people will say. And it happens a lot with PewDiePie. Um, people are like, oh, his fucking content fucking sucks. It's stupid. It's so fucking immature, dude. Only fucking little kids like it. Oh, dude, of course you don't fucking like it. He purposefully gears his thing, his his uh, his videos, his entertainment towards a demographic that you don't fit into. You can't look at it and say, oh, his fucking shit sucks because I don't like it. Put yourself in the shoes of a twelve-year-old kid. Would you think that PewDiePie's videos were amazing? Probably. Would you really like uh, White Boy 7 Street's videos? Probably. What is gamer tags? Probably. Just because they cater to a demographic that doesn't fit you doesn't mean that they're any worse at what they do. You can't cater to everyone. You can't. <laughs> that's like saying, going onto a video for, uh, for like, what is gamer tag? Like, oh, this is fucking stupid. Fucking, this, this video is only fucking meant for little kids. I'm not a little kid. And then you go to a video about fucking, like, adult diapers. And you're like, what the fuck? This fucking video is only meant for fucking old people. I'm not a fucking old person. Fucking watch videos meant for you to watch. Watch videos in your demographic. Yes. Uh, what was the... You, you were giving me an actual celebrity um, comparison before we actually started recording. What, what was that comparison again? Uh, Jamie Kennedy? Yes. Yeah, and how fucking critics just destroy his shit, and it, it's not even like they're like, oh, Son of the Mask was a bad movie. It'll be like, fucking, Jamie Kennedy is the biggest piece of shit to have ever walked the planet. Don't go see this movie. This movie is fucking immature. Like, no shit, it's immature. You're a fucking 50-year-old critic watching a movie meant for fucking 10-year-olds. Yeah, I mean... We'll kind of discuss a little bit about Jamie Kennedy, just because that's that's a, a real life thing. It's not just a YouTube oriented thing. It's it's an actual movie star. But um, Malibu's Most Wanted, very very immature movie. It had some adult um, references and that sort of thing. So it's it definitely appeals to people that are probably in the fifteen to seventeen year old range. Yeah, people and that, probably high on drugs. People that laugh about stupid shit or are very impressionable and are new to trying drugs. <laughs> but <laughs> it's, you know, his movies appeal to certain things. And just because they don't appeal to you, you know, just because they don't appeal to a 95-year-old critic that's been doing this since the black and white ages doesn't mean that it's not something that won't be enjoyable for younger people that it's actually geared towards. 
Just like yeah. I don't expect I don't expect a fifty year old to enjoy you know the Lion King. <laughs> I don't. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's a car- Everybody enjoys the Lion King. But but I'm referring to someone that's older as opposed to a movie that's geared towards a very very young audience. Yeah. For instance, um, if you're 50 years old and you watch Dora the Explorer and you're like, dude, what the fuck? This show is retarded. This show doesn't fucking mean anything to me. It doesn't have anything that really makes me have to think or doesn't have an am- amazingly dirty jokes. No shit. It's meant for six-year-olds. Get over yourself. Although, Dora the Explorer is a good TV show for six-year-olds. Although, if you were 50 years old and you're not thinking that, then something is wrong, but you just shouldn't say it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Anyways, that's all we have time for, guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Be sure to go check out part one if you guys are actually listening to this first. Go check out part one on Draw This's channel. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Billy, you got like th- two seconds. Oh, I fucking love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>